more uh, have uh, have something in your hand. We are far more interesting and better looking the more you drink. So please don't do this without a drink in hand. Um, this is by way of introduction for those of you that are less familiar with us. Um, we are Angelina Wine Company. We are here in our little winery in downtown LA. This is not a green screen behind us. This is uh, actual uh, winery uh, here. And uh, our focus uh, is uh, we make wine uh, using LA County varieties. I think using a lot of the same vineyards that you guys make wine with, or many of you make wine with and know well. So we'll talk a little bit about those. Um, and yeah, we, we started uh, our first our, our first vintage in this uh, location was in 2018. Um, Jasper had been making wine as a, a home winemaker um, or a garage yeast or whatever it may be called um, far before that in a different label called Rhythm Wine. But he and I joined forces in 2015 and finally got this little place open in 2018. And we do around, oh, I don't know, maybe about 1,500 or so cases of wine a year. Um, and normally we have a tasting room open. I think that's what you were mentioning, William. Um, of course, it's closed during the pandemic, but, you know, Michael and Nancy and Dave and Joan, um, of course, have been here many times. They're wine club members and have um, helped us open this uh, winery. We could not have opened it without your support. So um, cheers, cheers to you guys yeah. for you. being uh, such an integral part of this adventure. And then I know some of you have also come by and some of you hopefully will come by when we uh, get through this little pandemic situation that we're uh, currently navigating through. Um, so yeah, so Angelina Wine Company is just Jasper and I, and uh, we have a part-time employee, um, but it's just a little kind of small, small operation. Um, most of our fruit comes from uh, LA County, um, but we do work with uh, some vineyards that are not in LA County if we find a grape or find some fruit that is particularly interesting to us. Yes. Okay. That could be a nice blend. I'm going to take you on a really quick aerial tour of the vineyards. A really quick aerial tour. Really quick aerial tour. Located in Santa Clarita, a little town called Agua Dulce. I think we're going through the Grenache vines right now. Yep. Um, so this will be on the Sierra Highway. And we're about to fly over Juan Alonzo's house and his restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't quite make it. Uh, you don't see the other the other block of the vineyard, but it's a rough idea. Um, so, and then here, let me show you. Um, so this is Juan Alonzo, and he is where we get the bulk of our, our fruits uh, here at Angelino. And for those of you that have met him, um, I know uh, that some of you have. He is quite a character. Uh, he came here from Galicia, Spain, uh, back in the 80s, I believe. 70s, yeah. And uh, he opened a restaurant. If you guys Google um, Google it, it's called Le Chien French Cuisine. Um, I know it's crazy. He's, he's from Spain and he opened a French restaurant, but that is uh, just how crazy Juan is. He's a French trained chef, a beautiful chef. Um, and he opened Le Chien French Cuisine and then he planted all of these vineyards. Um, the one that you saw was right on the Sierra Highway. And then he also planted a bunch of vines behind um, and, and all it's about five or six acres and at this point I think we take about the entirety of the vineyard at this point because now we, we take everything um, as Jasper mentioned earlier we do hand harvest everything in the vineyard. Um, and that's in part because we drop all of our fruit um, in the vineyard we don't have a sorter here um, we don't have space in the winery for the sorter. We don't have money for a sorter. So the sorter is us. And we just drop the fruit, any fruit that doesn't look like anything that we would eat, um, in the vineyard. And uh, yeah, so he's he's quite a character. Uh, he um, always comes out and talks to us. And then in the uh, after we're done picking, which is kind of my favorite part, secretly,
so we are going to go into our next uh, weird wine. This is the uh, the bike up, and there's a little bit of a glare, but um, it's got this cool bottle. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. The bottle's cool. Yeah. The bottle's great. Yeah, it's neat. It's a, it's a block print. It's actually by the same artist who did our Meadow Rosé label, uh, a local artist. And this is a block print of the bike path, the LA River bike path. And you should probably tell the story of how it got its name because it was new. <laughs> no, really large and got really, I, I was I was just riding my bike up and down the my bicycle up and down the LA River bike path, trying to figure out what the hell I was going to call this damn wine, and uh, just kind of like looked at the view and thought, huh, bike path. Okay, it was a terrible story, but um, <laughs> oh, great, great story. Yeah, it's. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is pretty pretty near uh, near my house, um, and this one is is fun. This is is one of those wines that, um, at least for me, I don't know about Jasper, but um, it's it's uh, it's a blend of Grenache and Tempranillo. I'll start with that from from the Alonzo family vineyard. Juan has more Grenache than he has anything else, so we get to play a lot with Grenache. We'll do single varietal Ooh. and various things because he just he has so Ooh. much. Of what is so weird, I, Jasper was absolutely right. Um, when we, uh, when I had said, oh, well, just, you know, you guys are not interested in the Grenache. The Grenache is boring. Actually, Jasper was right. His Grenache is so weird. It's, yeah, it's neat. It comes out a lot lighter and it has this interesting, like, citrusy tangerine almost, or not tangerine, I, but I like grapefruit. grapefruit. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Like, a, it's, which is just, we don't usually associate with, with Grenache. It's pretty, it's interesting how it grows there. And we spend a lot of time, a lot of time thinking about the Grenache because it doesn't have a ton of color, um, but it has so much flavor and it, it has, it, as a blending component, it just, add, on its own, which you drank last night, but certainly as a blending component, it just adds so many different things to, to the wine. So anyway, the, um, so this is Grenache and Tempranillo. Uh, and as Jasper mentioned, we, you know, we just wanted to make something fun and good for the summer and good for our warm days. And um, to be completely honest with you, we call this one our breakfast wine. <laughs> um, we have been known uh, to drink this. So Jasper and I have a, a, a long history of uh, vacationing in, in Palm Springs. When we can grab a vacation, we go to, straight to Palm Springs, go to a pool. We are marathon pool sitters and marathon drinkers. Um, and um, like our my Curtis versus the yeah hair, like know? my spouses and like his partners have like just sat in absolute disgust at like how we can just sit at a pool and like literally just drink from like eight in the morning until midnight. Um, but we we would just Dedication. wake up we would just wake up and pull the bike path out of the fridge. We'd put it on ice. Uh, Nancy, you mentioned we'd we'd throw it on ice. We'd sit in our poolside floaty barbecue. And yeah, and we drink the bike path on our poolside floaty or next to the pool. And for us, this is just meant to be fun. Like it's, there's just, yeah, it's just, it's meant to be enjoyed, drink it any hour of the day. Well, it's on the light side too, which helps yeah. like if you want to um, uh, quaff it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. it's got a great mouth feel. Mm -hmm. There's a F to it, dare I say. Yeah, there, there's like an interesting, so there's an interesting thing going on there. And I was talking about that we, me and Amy were talking about this not too long ago where it has this, does anybody get a, like a spiced character from it that's almost like reminiscent of mold wine, if, 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 you've, if you've tried that before? Uh, my, my first, my first yeah. aroma with, I wrote uh, Christmas Spice. I want to thank you guys so much. I mean, the wines are fantastic. The information is fantastic. Mm. I'm, I'm really excited about y your energy and your optimism. And I just, uh, I, you know, you guys, I, I, I'm, we're, we're, I'm behind you. I'm, I'm sure everybody else is behind you as well. This is very, it was really fun. No, thank you so much. Great. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you all so much too i mean we i said it before i'll say it again you guys have been on the scene pushing this envelope for for much longer uh and you know you have 
carried the the faith and held the candle and all you know all the things to to really um, show that we we can make as good a wine as anyone and um, we're really honored to be a part of of your group and thank you for inviting us to um, to be a part of what you have been doing for for a long long time and thank you for doing what you do.